Now, who knows? Who knows? It changes. Some things never change. OK, here's the deal. I will select, and this is what I want to point out to you. I will select eight students at random. What's the probability? That one, um, one, none are left handed. Two, one is what left handed. Three, two is left handed. Four, at least one is left handed. Okay? Five, less than two are left handed. And six, what is the expected number? Bless you. Of left handed people. OK? Now, does anybody know why this is a binomial distribution? Why is this a binomial distribution? <laughs> Two different outcomes. Good. So what's the formula? Huh? P of x is what? And C x p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. <laughs> Bless you. OK. What is the value of n? Adriana, what's n? Yeah, for all of them. Eight. Nice. Eight. Is that true? Why is it eight? You're selecting eight what? Student. There's eight trials. Eight trials here. Okay. It's analogous to having children. Good. What's a success? Anybody know what a success is? Being what? Left what? Handed. Isn't that what a success is? It's in the question. Is that true? Well, I'm not going to let this be in the question. Because they're asking you, probabilities, and they're saying none, one, two, what is the value of x here? x is what here? Zero. x is what here? x is what here? At least one, what is x? Greater than or equal to one. Less than two, what is x? Less than two. You see what I'm saying? Okay, you guys okay with this? Anybody have any questions so far? This is why you let um, what's in the question be your success.
You guys sure? Any, any questions on this? What comes next? We know x, we know n. Can you guys tell me what p is? What's p? That little p. What's the definition? For a? A trial, a single trial. So stop and think. What's a single trial? If I select only one person at random, what's the probability, since the success is being left-handed, what's the probability the person's left-handed? <coughs> 0 0.1. Just think of your buddy, Adriana. Probability you find somebody who's left-handed is 0 0.10, because 10% of the population is left-handed, whatever that means. You part your hair you know, with your left hand. I don't know. OK? So this is going to be what? 0 0.1, and this is going to be 0 0.1. So what you're going to do then is for question one, x has the value of 0, plug in all of those values where they should be plugged in at, and let's see what happens. You get p of what? 0 is 8. C what? 0. 0. 0.10 to the 0. What's 1 minus 0. 0.10? 0. 0. To the, what is 8 minus 0? You guys okay with that? Now look at, look at the values. What is 8C0? Good. What's any number to the 0 power? So here's what you're doing. In the past, these two probabilities here were equally likely. This is a probability and this is its complement in the past. P, 1 minus P. Probability of having a boy, 1 half. Probability of having a girl, 1 half. They're equally likely. Probability of being left-handed is 0 0.10, but the probability of being right-handed is what? 0 0.90. So this is an example where p does not equal 1 minus p, or q. A, prob a probability and its complement are not equal. Okay? So I have to show you that because just because you say that there's two outcomes doesn't mean they're equally likely, in which case that second value, the 1 minus p, can be different. And we have to point that out. So here we go. P of 0 now is going to be what? P of 0 is 0.9 to the eighth power. What does your calculator say there? What is that approximately? 0.9 to the eighth power. What is it? Uh, let's round this to the nearest uh, what? Thousandths. And you're right, it's 0 0.43 what? Zero. 